the sixth part of Laravel development environment setup. Now it is time to install and set up Laravel framework and this is the main objective of this course. For you to install Laravel successfully, we need to have followed this tutorial from part 1. If you haven't been following this tutorial, kindly check out the other parts of this tutorial. In addition, you need a good internet connection to download and install Laravel. We'll start this video by installing Laravel via Composer. If you haven't installed Composer, check out part 4 of this tutorial. Secondly, we will install Laravel UI package. This is an official package that contains the extracted UI parts from a Laravel project. Then we'll install Vue.js UI. Next, we'll install Vue.js authentication UI. Most importantly, we'll create a database for our Laravel project. Then we'll set up the database server credentials in our environment file and finally we'll run database migration let us install and set up laravel in our computer remember we in the first part of this tutorial we installed our local server now go to the local server installation folder open a folder called frameworks as you can see there is other frameworks installed right, right click an empty space in this folder and select git bash here this is where we will install our Laravel framework. Now run the following command. Composer create project prefer this Laravel stroke Laravel. So the next, th the next thing you need to do is to enter the name of your project. For example, I will use Pro Developer as my project name. You can use any name that you want, you prefer. For example, you can call yours Best App, whatever name you want to use. So I'm going to press enter and wait for the installation to complete. The faster your computer, the faster the installation. And also the faster the, your internet, the faster installation. There should be no inter in interruptions to your internet connection during this installation otherwise you will have to start the installation again I'm going to take this opportunity to kindly request you to subscribe to my channel. It will support me and it will enable me to make more tutorials. Kindly subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed by now. Now the installation is complete. Our Laravel framework has been installed successfully. Now go inside you your project directory type cd dot box backslash and the name of your project this will take you inside the project directory and now let us install laravel ui package just type composer require laravel ui 
Then press enter and this will install Laravel UI in your project. Wait for the installation to complete. There we go, the installation is complete. The next thing is to install Laravel, uh, I mean Vue.js frontend in our project. Just type php artisan UI view. Run that command and that will install Vue.js scaffolding. The next thing is to install Vue.js authentication UI scaffolding type php artisan ui view dash dash auth then press enter as you can see view scaffolding installed successfully now and the next thing we need to do is to install node j node modules and then we should compile our Vue.js scaffolding. So type npm install and npm run dev. npm install will install node modules. While the npm run dev will compile our Vue.js scaffolding. As you can see we have an error here if you encounter this error just type npm cache clean dash dash force and this should fix the error if this doesn't fix the error there's another way go to your C drive and then open your users folder And then open your user user account folder and look for a directory called appdata normally this uh, directory is hidden just click view then make sure the hidden items checkbox is checked so that you can see that directory then open roaming and look for a folder called npm cache now delete that directory to fix that problem then go back and try to run the commands again and this should work now uh, the installation also takes uh, quite some time the faster your internet speed the faster the installation the faster your computer the faster installation just be patient Now it is time to compile our Vue.js scaffolding. There we go guys, our Laravel framework has been installed and set up uh, successfully. So let, let us open our application. There we go, go to your C drive and then open your local server installation folder then double click manage windows this is the graphical user interface for our local server make sure all the, sub the services are running that is mysql database and apache web server now click go to application uh, to open our application There we go, our application is running at port 82. Now type php artisan to start Laravel development server. 
then go back to your browser and type uh, 127.0.0.1 semicolon I mean colon then 8000 as you can see our Laravel framework has been set up correctly you can see even the authentication system uh, is installed successfully and this is one of the major features of Laravel framework so the next thing guys is to create a database for our application and set up the server credentials in our environment file so open your uh, your project in Visual Studio Code remember we installed Visual Studio Code in the other part of this tutorial as you can see uh, Visual Studio Code is really good so we need to set the server credentials in this environment file so first of all login to your php admin uh, you will login using the password that we used during the local server installation the same password you will you will, you will use the same password in your laravel application as you can see our database server is running at port 3308 yours might be 3306 or something just enter the port that you that your uh, database is running then enter the password and again the password is the password that you set during the local server installation if you have forgotten the password you will have to reinstall <laughs> your local server again Now let's create a database for our Laravel project. I will name mine Laravel. Uh, now that we have edited this end file, we will need uh, to save the changes save changes and something else is that you can change the name of your application at the app name I will call mine pro developer just use a name that you want for your application yes I was saying we need to uh, clear the cache so that the changes uh, will t might take the effect so we need to migrate this database but before that we need to uh, save the changes that we have made in our Laravel um, uh, in our Laravel M file so type PHP artisan cache clear then press enter and this will clear the your cache then type php artisan config clear then finally type php artisan config cache and this will clear your will configure your cache there we go now let's migrate our database type php artisan migrate this will migrate our database as you can see our database uh, the tables have been created that's it guys thank you very much uh, for taking part uh, taking your time to watch this tutorial our Laravel framework is ready for development I will ask you again to kindly subscribe to my channel so that you can get more tutorials from Software Scares. Thank you very much. See you in the next part of this tutorial where we will be creating our GitHub account where we will be pushing our projects. Thank you very much. That's it guys. See you next time.